Today in Stu's Tech Time, I'm gonna show you five tips to speed up that fire stick. If you find this video any way helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos that I put online. Tip number one, turn off your VPN. I know what you're thinking, why would you want to turn off your VPN? Well, you don't always need VPN on all the time. And if you use IP Vanish, once you turn it on on a Fire Stick, it will stay on until you turn it off. So if you're playing a game, for example, you don't need a VPN. It's going to slow down your Fire Stick. It's going to use processing power and it will affect performance. So if you don't need it, turn it off. Tip number two, plug it in to the back of your TV. Yeah, I know. You already plug it into the back of the TV. No, I'm talking about the USB. So if you normally plug it into a plug, take it out the plug, and if you've got an available socket, plug it into your TV, USB socket. That way, when you turn off your TV, you turn off your fire stick, and it keeps it running cooler because it's not always on. And the next time you turn your TV on, your fire stick will turn on. So it's gonna run more efficiently. So simple. Tip number three, use the HDMI dongle supplied. This here, use it. Don't just plug your fire stick straight into your TV. Plug it into this first, and then plug this into the TV. You'll be amazed at how much cooler this runs when it's not plugged directly into the TV. And if it's running cooler, it's running more efficiently. Try it, it's the simplest little hack. And while you're at it, why not use one of these? This is the official Amazon Ethernet dongle, or any Ethernet dongle will do. Plug this in here, then you've got an Ethernet adapter here. Yes, you can plug in an Ethernet cable here, which basically means you've got a much better broadband signal or internet signal going into your Fire Stick. Now think about it, if that's at the back of your TV, it's not gonna get the best Wi-Fi signal, is it? No. So give your device the best chance at getting the best internet reception by using an ethernet cable. Tip number four, get rid of all those old apps and APKs taking up storage on your Fire Stick. There isn't a lot of storage on your Fire Stick to begin with, so get rid of any app or APK that you haven't been using in the last two or three months. And if you do need to use it again, then it's easily downloadable. Your Fire Stick will love you for it because if it's using less storage, it's going to run efficiently and it's not going to run as hot. So if you don't need an app or APK, get rid. Tip number five. We're gonna to have to go into the settings of your Fire Stick and turn off a few things. So let's do that now. So here we are on our Fire Stick homepage. Up to the very top of the screen, navigate along to settings. And then basically, all we have to do is go into applications and preferences. Applications first. And now, really, this is preference, whether you want to have Amazon Photos, whether you want to keep them on or not. To be honest with you, it doesn't make much of a difference with Amazon Photos. Same with Game Circle. Game Circle, you can turn that off as well. If you don't play games at all, I would definitely turn that off. But it doesn't make much of a difference to your device if you keep them on. Now we have to go to Preferences. And here is just a series of options that we're going to be turning off. First thing we have to do is go into privacy settings. And then basically make sure all these are off. Uh, device use data, let's turn that off. And the same with the other two as well. Just taking up unnecessary processing power working in the background. Data monitoring. Make sure that's off. Notification settings, let's go into that. And let's make sure uh, do not disturb is, well, doesn't really matter because we're gonna be turning off all the app notifications. 
So all we do is make sure all these are off. Or maybe you'd want to keep downloader on uh, because that gives you a notification if something's downloaded. So use your own discretion there. Featured content. I want to make sure all these are off. That's uh, basically autoplay of your video and audio on your main menu system. So that's definitely, you want to turn them off. And that is it. That is all that you need to switch off on your settings. Special bonus tip now, factory reset your Fire Stick every nine to 12 months. That way it's going to be running as efficiently as possible. And it's like having a new Fire Stick every year. Once it's set to factory reset, then it will be as if you've just taken out the packet. And another bonus with that is that you will get rid of all the apps and APKs that you no longer need because you're going to have to reinstall them. But you're only going to install the ones that you use, aren't you? You're not going to install something you haven't used in a few months that you're kind of scared of deleting before. So if you factory reset it, it really will run as efficiently as possible. So if you found this video anyway helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that bell. That way you'll be notified of any future videos that I put online, like the one that I'm going to be putting out next week, which is how to get rid of all those unwanted files on your Fire Stick. So click the bell, you'll get notified. Hope you liked this video. I hope you're all well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.